Let's talk for a moment, let's segue and talk about Windows Hello, because this has been a, a good dilemma on the market for a while now. And I think we'll be talking about Windows Hello, but overall, I think the, the same type of dilemma is um, a question we ask ourselves on the Mac world about Touch ID and Face ID and uh, the, the, the Apple, right? So the question becomes, is platform authentication or an authenticator that exists on the platform that is built into the platform itself, is that truly multi-factor authentication? So for those who haven't used yet Windows Hello, Windows Hello is a credential that Microsoft built into the Windows login flow. There are two versions, Windows Hello, which is the consumer version, Windows Hello for, uh, for business, which is the more enterprise version. Similar but different in how they are implemented. Windows Hello at the end of the day helps you get rid of your password. So instead of logging on to your Windows machine, Windows 10 machine with a username and password, you would now be prompted to either enter your PIN, which is very different from a password. If you'd want to talk about why a PIN is very different than a password, although they sound the same, meet us on IT hours tomorrow. We'll be talking about that in detail. Um, pins and passwords are significantly different. And, or you could be logging on to your Windows Hello and Windows device with your biometrics. So with your fingerprint, uh, face recognition and, and more. Another option would be logging on with a security key, um, a, a uh, FIDO based, WebAuthn based security key, which can be plugged into your USB port and you log on to Windows. So you ask yourself, is Windows Hello multi-factor? Because if it is, that is great. I can log on to my device and I am good to go. The challenge with Windows Hello starts with the definition of multi-factor authentication. So multi-factor authentication means you are authenticating, you're proving who you are with multiple factors, with something you have, which could be a token, a corporate, uh, a corporate card, a, a smart card, your phone, right? That is something you have. Something you know could be a password or a PIN, or in some cases, uh, even knowledge-based authentication. And something you are, which could be a fingerprint, iris scanners in some very sophisticated uh, cases, face recogni facial recognition, and more. So a combination of any one, uh, any one of these, when you have more than one factor, is considered multi-factor. So think about Windows Hello. When I am using Windows Hello, I'm trying to access my Windows device and IT resources accessed by that Windows device, basically by logging on with an authenticator that is on the access device itself. My fingerprint sensor is on the access device itself. The pin that I'm typing in is on the access device itself. Many regulations do not consider that multi-factor authentication. So both from a security perspective, from a separation of factors security perspective, and from the perspective of um, audit and compliance, Windows Hello is a great user experience, which does not comply with the definition of multi-factor authentication. It is, um, I would say, great to use as part of a multi-factor authentication scheme when bundled with additional capabilities. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.